Effect five, and change mod eight. And we are about Ready to video on B. Morbid, um, because whether you want to be buried or cremated when you die, neither actually are great options for the planet when you're long gone. Yeah, but maybe Roll it's a good B. time to talk Take about B. this, right? No yeah. time's a good time, but now that we're bringing it up, the U.S. uses 4.3 million Kach gallons oh, hold of embalming Ready, camera five. every year, and a huge amount of that is formaldehyde, methanol, and benzene. Not the type of stuff you want to be seeping into the ground. No, and then there's the casket that accounts for 20 million feet of wood, some of which is sourced from rainforests, and we've talked on the show before about how much you know, concrete contributes to the greenhouse gases. Yep. We use more than a million and a half tons of concrete annually for ready five, vaults. take right. five. So with all that in mind, ready maybe three. Consider going green for your burial. It's a growing industry, actually. Edward Bixby is the president and of the Green Burial Council. Turn, take, trek R1. So an interesting topic. We, when we uh, get a moment, we'll change Mon 8 to 53. Sure ready, R1, let's full. Let's just kind of break down the traditional burial. You know, you think. I'm gonna ready be four. I'm gonna do something good for the plan, but the reality take is four. The ready plan. three. Take three. Ready R one. Stephanie and Jordan. Thanks take R one. Uh, so, you know, here at the Green Burial Council, what we do is educate people to the merits not only of the environmental benefits but the uh, spiritual benefits of what we do. Meaning that uh, going back to nature as ready become, spots a C. Uh, most Roll. certainly makes the most Dissolve. sense. Uh, things like cremation, you know, add to the greenhouse gases and carbon footprint. And as you had mentioned, concrete production and, and uh, the depleting of the rainforest doesn't help. So uh, essentially, just to go back to the earth, you know, makes the most sense and and economically and spiritually and environmentally. Ready okay, three, so take. Ready four. Burial council take four. Methods. Can ready you three. Literally, just dig a hole and bury. Take someone? three. <laughs> ready R one. Yeah, take so R one. Believe it or not, you can. Uh, there is no laws within the fifty states of the United States that. Prohibit natural burial. Go ahead and get the next question lined up. Is a burial at sea considered like green? They're not, they're not Perfect, a law thank you. That they're not necessary. You don't have to use those. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of it comes down to the cemetery itself and what they allow. And many cemeteries, they require things like rules. They might stuff, be. Quite honestly, roll no B, effect B in. They can change their own rules and regulations. So, yes, you can actually just dig a, Ready, uh, camera dig three. a hole in a cemetery, a legal cemetery, and lay your loved ones to rest. Take. Um, ready four. About, like, historically take four. Speaking, that's what we used to do. Ready. Dig a hole ready five. Put a body in it. What, where take do we five. Go the here? Ready three. And why? Take three. Ready our one. That's very good question. Take our one. So you're absolutely nope. right. Scroll back up. Dawn of time, we practice natural burial. They didn't ask that question. We, there you go. We've handled our loved ones. Ready box with D. So, but, it's in dog. Uh, during the Civil War is when this came into practice, the embalming practice itself. Ready box uh, with B. Know, people wanted to get their loved ones back from Dissolve. the battlefield. They didn't want to have them buried far away. And uh, they had uh, introduced embalming. And uh, after they realized they were able to do that to preserve the body, that's kind of how... Uh, it came to be, and, and then, of course, over decades and generations, we've kind of lost touch with uh, caring for our loved ones in death. So it's become a normal practice here in the United Ready States. Ready, three, take three. Ready, ocean. four, take four. With me on that. You feel at peace there. You calm the whole thing. Ready, three. Can you just throw someone overboard? As take a three. Or is there something Ready, R1. Ready, three, there, take three. Ready, R1. Um, take R1. Know, Ready, box of B as in boy. She has a list, Roll. and she's ready to Dissolve. throw people. Coastlines, the Turn up the next question, please. That the Every culture and religion. Has to be Perfect. Placed in uh, water at a depth greater than 600 feet, oh, and there is Ready, three. that the body is weighted down with stones. That way, it cannot you know come back up. Uh, but yes, absolutely, it, it can happen. And you know, in certain states like California, where you have very deep water, that can happen within sight of land. But of course, in a state like, let's say, for instance, New Jersey, where I'm at now, Ready, R1. you have to go a, a great distance, about Dissolve. 80 miles offshore, to to you know get to a water depth of that. Ready, three. So take three. Kind of ready five. Like we take five. Four. You can go, Jordan. Why, why ready four. This, when you're having these conversations take four. With loved ready three. Who are trying to move on and figure out where to put their own loved one. What is the take three. You're ready R one. Inform them about the the green process versus the other process. Take R one. Well, what's kind of ironic is that because people don't realize they can have this, they are very surprised. Box with D as in dog. You know, I only Roll. Choose the option because I I didn't think I could have something very simple like this. Right. So they're actually that they're very happy that they can have it it changes their minds about what they want for themselves and to be honest with you the environmental benefits are absolutely wonderful but the emotional benefits of caring for your loved one in this type of setting 
where you were able to lower them. Pretty A in. To, Roll to A. Like effect A in. Two-ish minutes. Definitely ask the next question. Not only their perspective on death, but on their Ready perspective three. on life itself. Take three. Ready five. What if they have take five. Four. Pen right a little bit. Ready four. Take four. Ready three. Take three. Ready R1. Take R1. Nope. Keep it there. Ready preset. Dissolve. Green by default. Like for instance, Muslim and Jewish burial practices, and most burial practices around the world are green. Uh, the United States. This is kind of something that we kind of do. But uh, you can observe any kind of religious. Ready B in. Uh, Roll B. Effect you know, B in. Celebrations in a green ceremony. It, it doesn't change anything at all. Ready three. There, take three. Uh, Ready five. Take five. About Ready four, four you get Jordan. Ready four. Digging up or you know causing. Ready three. Take three. Ready R one. Take R one. Question to have. You know I get that a lot, but believe it or not, that doesn't happen at all, and I'll tell you why. You know at the depths that we bury. Question cost is unfortunate. Ready preset is all. Things like odor and things like that. That's really not a problem. But what I tell people is that. The types of animals they're worried about, let's say, for instance, coyotes or things like that, they eat living things. They don't eat things that are expired. So that's not desirable. Expired. So uh, we have never, you know, in my 15 years of operating natural burial grounds, Ready ever D as a dog in, effect D site. in. And the only time an animal ever even entered a grave site was when a fox created a fox den in the in the earth of a burial mound, and it had no Ready camera three. So things like buzzards and things that are eating expired things you know are interested but certainly not animals that you know that don't eat expired right. yeah. animals okay. take three you don't have to worry about smell either because they're yeah. deep enough into the ground. ready r1 an that. that's good um, I cancel ready four the, the cost of take four i just went through the process with my family with a family member that ready three we will wrap it then it's really expensive go to a13 take three ready r1 Take our you know, one. Absolutely, they tend to be cheaper because you don't have services like vaults and, and traditional caskets and, and the embalming service itself. Uh, but this you know, is their last question. Burial, they'll have a react yes, and then they'll tease and talk. Pretty a in. But everything is relative. Pretty preset you know, is all. On the location, it's kind of like real estate. You know, unfortunately, you have to say that, but it's true. But I would say, on average, a, a natural burial is about half of what a traditional burial is. And right now, a traditional burial in the United States is about twelve thousand dollars. So you would expect to pay a funeral home in a cemetery probably somewhere between forty-five hundred and six thousand dollars for a natural burial. Certainly, you might find it cheaper in other locations, but that's probably about right. This is take three. Fascinating topic. Ready five. Bixby, thank you so much, President of the Green Burial Council. We really appreciate your time and the awareness.